everybody, I'm Larissa Wall. Thanks for joining us here at Local On 2. Now, it is so beautiful outside, and we have some beautiful cars here. So we couldn't spend any time indoors. We had to come outside and celebrate. So we have Caitlin and Jeff with Frazier Motor Car Company here. Before we talk about the cars, tell us a little bit about your business. I'll start with you, Jeff. Well, uh, can I tell a 50-year career in one minute? Yeah. <laughs> Go for it. Yeah, I, I uh, put myself through college, and the way I did it was I would buy an old collector car, European car. Um, I went to school in Santa Barbara and I was from Kansas City. So the cars were under snow in Kansas City and I would take a bus back to Kansas City and buy one and drive to Santa Barbara and sell it and uh, make money. And uh, seven years of college afterwards, I thought I kind of enjoyed that. So I kept doing it and I've been doing it for 48 years. And what we do is we buy your collector European cars, um, British and German, and Swedish obviously, um, Italian, and we'll t buy them from estates or we'll buy them where they're partially finished and um, s sub it out and get them uh, to a sellable level, a pretty level. So. Wow, okay, I went to school in Santa Barbara too. So yeah, we connect on that level. Caitlin, Jeff is your dad, father-daughter team, I love that. Tell me what the best part of working with classic cars is. Oh, it's definitely preserving the history and the art of these cars. They're, they're works of art, they're, it's a craft um, that you don't see with modern cars. So we're not just selling cars, we're um, preserving history, we're kind of antique dealers and art collectors and keeping these cars on the road is very important, I think, to keep that history alive. I also love keeping the bond between you two alive. I mean, it is Father's Day coming up. I love that you guys share a love for classic cars together. Um, okay, speaking of that, we got to take a look at this. This car is gorgeous. This is a Volvo. Please tell us, you know what, let me come over here so you can actually talk in the microphone. Tell us all about this gorgeous piece of art. This is a Volvo P1800, and these were designed by the Italians. And so you have the Swedish reliability. Swedish cars, Volvos are extremely reliable cars. So you have the Italian design, the beautiful design, and the reliability of a, of a Volvo make. Uh, so for a collector car, it's a real nice combination because it's reliable and it's obviously very pretty. And yeah. this one's your favorite one, am I right? I keep, yeah, this is one I've, I've kept. I, uh, almost weekly one comes in, I'm going to keep that one. And, then, <laughs> and So I keep some, and then I go, okay, I've got too many, I better sell some. Yeah, yeah, but you, we've got four warehouses full of stuff like this, and we want to keep all of them, all of them. And <laughs> yeah. um, they're interesting pieces because during this period, a lot of them were hand-built, or they might have limited production. You might, we trade in cars that they may have built 200 of, or three of or 2,000 of, and 30, 40 years later, they're not that plentiful. So we seek out really rare um, collector cars. European. Wow. And we specialize only in European. Wow, 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 it is just beautiful. I can understand that you wouldn't want to give this one up. Now, I'm sure you guys have heard horror stories of people who want to be you and in your footsteps and buy a collector's car and things don't go right. What would you tell somebody the best thing to do, um, other than coming to you, obviously, <laughs> when it comes to being smart about buying a classic piece? Uh, I share this daily with people. 98% um, of our sales is internet, international uh, sales. And I might get a call from Boston, and I always recommend that they find a Mark specialist. If, there's, if it's a Volvo, find a Volvo specialist. If it's a Jaguar, find a Jaguar specialist have it inspected. Um, we oftentimes see people who buy on the internet and they've been told that it's a certain quality and it shows up and it's not. Uh, so say, spend $400, $500 and have a, an inspector go look at that car. And not just as an inspector that shows up at the parking lot, an inspector that knows that particular make of car. That's a good one. I mean, people don't want to spend that four or five hundred dollars, but it's money well spent. I'm guessing to not get taken. Um, Caitlin, behind you is this beautiful Jag. Tell us a little bit about this one. So this is a Jaguar XJS, a 1994. Um, the XJS cars were the. Um, they came after the beautiful XKE models that um, Enzo Ferrari famously said was the most beautiful car in the world. Um, the 80s XJS cars kind of got a bad reputation, but the 90s, 94, 95, 96, uh, six-cylinder XJS cars are probably our best-selling car. 
um, and we get the best customers or the happiest customers. They're fantastic cars. So anytime we have to go somewhere with the cars, I take an XJS. That's <laughs> that's my driver. Yeah. <laughs> oh, well, thank you guys so much. I really appreciate it. And happy Father's Day well, to you, you as yeah. well. And of course, everybody, these cars, as Jeff mentioned, are just two of four warehouses that they have. So check them out online, jpfraser.com. You can also find them on social media, Frazier Motor Car Company. More local on two. We'll be right back after this.